Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory here on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Now, I do apologize. It's been a few days since the last episode, uh, and I know a couple of you have been commenting, where's The Road to Glory? Uh, and tweeting me and stuff like that. So I do apologize. Uh, I've been away a little bit this weekend and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's that's why things have been a, li a tiny, tiny bit different on my channel as of late. Um but we're going to start today's uh, Road to Glory episode off with a whole bunch of the Team of the Year nominee SBCs that I recorded from like literally Friday all the through the weekend to Monday and stuff. So uh, that's where we're going to start today off. You'll see the various packs and how I completed the SBCs mainly using or pretty much exclusively using stuff from my club. Uh, so that was pretty easy. I did do one of these Team of the Week tradable upgrades uh, because we had a couple of informs that we got in in rewards and stuff. And uh, I think all of the, the players were either someone I bought for something else or they were first owner. So I know the opportunity cost is there, but um, I decided to, to risk it rather than sell those players to see if we could get a good player from the Team of the Week. And we get an Argentine left mid. It's just not anyone good, is it? Chervy? Servi? I don't know how you say his name, but um, it's, it's definitely not what I wanted. And of, of course, that leads to a an overall loss in coins, which is not a good idea. I could have sold those two informs or discarded them, sold all the 83s and 82s that I put into the squad, and we would have been fine. Um, but so be it. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm, I'm sitting here with a team at my disposal and like 280k, so uh, I, I, I don't know what to do with it. So I'm, I'm happy to, to at least risk it for the SBC because Luis Suarez, Hyung Min Son, they're all in packs this week. So uh, they, you know, they, they, they've been in the previous team of the team of the week. So uh, it was a good chance for me to actually pack them. Um, so there was a missed upload on Friday, which was actually my birthday. So that was kind of like a day off. And, and I've been away to the Footwiz HQ over the weekend. A new office space that Footwiz Dan and Footwiz Ruin uh, have uh, got together, ready, like set it up with loads of Xboxes and Playstations and stuff um, so that they can have like their pros come down, play some weekend league games and stuff. Um, and it was like the first weekend. So uh, me, Dan Ruin, uh, even like Chesnoid and Kyle, the EA community manager and stuff like that. And, and uh, came down to the to the actual office space to hang out for the weekend kind of like a meet up for my birthday kind of like a meet up to test out the office and stuff um, and just generally have a laugh and that was great and actually one of foot wizards pro players came down on the sunday as well and managed to smash out his 40 games in like one sitting and go 37 and 3 which he was disappointed with i'd have been absolutely buzzing um but yeah, it's just nuts just how good they are. How much better they are than like normal FIFA players. Um, so that's why I missed an upload on Friday and actually Monday. And just, it's just to let you guys know that there's a possibility of something like that again this week. I'll do my very best to get as many videos prepped in advance and whilst I'm away as possible. Uh, but I will be going to Barcelona with EA. Uh, they're going to take me out there to, uh, to like vlog and be a part of the social media sort of stuff out there. Uh, because of course we've got the first instalment of like the FIFA E World Cup uh, of the, the the first competitive event for all of these pro FIFA players that qualified during that qualification month uh, to then battle it out and and play against each other for a, a tidy little prize pool. So I'm really looking forward to going out to Barcelona for a few days and watching all of them do that and stuff. Uh, so I, I actually can't wait. So um, let me know if there's anything specific you'd like me to to try and vlog or capture whilst I'm out there. Uh, I'd be interested to know your thoughts in the comments. So I bought Vidal back. I, I packed him obviously a while back and then we sold him and we've been using Taliso. Um, but with the squad where we've got it, we've got Mares and we've got Van Basten. It brings us back to the 4-3-2-1 uh, and that leads that little triangle can work out again. Uh, I also spoke to Honey Badger who is the Footwiz Pro that I met at the weekend. Uh, I asked him whether or not I should pick up regular Kante and replace him with, you know, and, and replace Bakayoko with him. And generally, I think the, the consensus from him and, and the others in the group at the time was just that Bakayoko's got the height and stuff and just works well on the game. I know that I've got a couple of substitutes that I can bring on if he starts to get tired in the second half. And he generally is just a bit more OP than the regular Kante because Kante's so small. Now, if we had the coins and we could afford the team of the year Kante, I think he's absolutely nuts. Um, but we obviously can't do that on this account. Uh, we don't have the coins at our disposal at this point in time. Um, so I will be sticking with Bakayoko in that, uh, in that midfield spot and he's going to play as my DM. 
uh, for at least the first 45 to 60 minutes, and then I can always bring on the Fotmas Munier and stuff. Uh, but I am almost thinking of uh, making a couple more changes. We'll, we'll figure that out towards the end of the episode, maybe even into next episode. But right now, what you're seeing is I was able to play in, um, in divisions. I haven't played in online divisions or online seasons, whatever you want to call it, for quite a while. And we're up to Division 3, and I've not tested myself out in this one yet. Um... And the first game I go into, the guy just didn't play. I scored a goal and then he quit. So I actually got three points for basically not doing anything. Uh, which obviously helps, but it's not its not super legit or anything. But what, what am I going to do, right? I'm not just going to let him quit when it's nil-nil. I'd rather just take the win, move on. Uh, the objective in divisions is to get as many points as possible. So that's what we did. Uh, and we go on into this game and we're 1-1. Like I went 1-0 down. Um, I got a, a kickoff goal equaliser, which is just so very FIFA 18, isn't it? Mane then manages to score that for my opponent it, five minutes after the halftime break. Um, that's a three-star week for Mane, absolutely banging it in the top corner. But obviously, he's got relatively good shooting stats on this game. So it's something that you can expect from time to time. Some really good link-up play between Martial and Mares Feeds it through to Van Basten. Um, and he's like inside the six-yard box. If a player of his calibre misses from there I'm gonna be pissed so uh, I'm glad that that one went in because I, I would have genuinely been pretty mad at that point but um, the only thing that's gonna save that is like a freak lucky guess from the goalkeeper to dive the exact correct way uh, so this game being two all uh, and then me hitting the bar with Vidal like, I, I kind of went on the offensive I felt like this game was for the taking I, I could win this one Van Basten forcing a great save out of Edison right there um, and then I play it short to Maris from a free kick. He'll click past one, roulette past another, drag it back, and then just whip it with that sort of messy like finesse uh, around the goalkeeper into the top corner. And we do, for the first time in this game, take the lead. It's looking likely and looking kind of positive uh, because the last sort of 20 minutes in this game, I'd kind of been all over him. So things were looking very, very good. And then Martial is able to stick one home. I'm not quite sure how that one goes in. Like, he kind of hits it weird on the touch. Like, I almost feel like his foot was a... The ball was too close to his standing foot, but he somehow managed to... Oh, no, it wasn't when in the replay. It was just a weird uh, one-step kind of shot, and it manages to go past the keeper nonetheless. But I clear a corner, uh, not very well. Walker picks it up. Thunderbolts one into the back of the net. Kyle Walker, of all people, absolutely spanked it into the back of the net. Uh, so the guy gets one goal back, but there's just not enough time for him to get back in this one. And in fact, it is me um, who goes ahead and scores again. You know, I my aim was just to keep the ball around the last third rather than hold it in my own corner. Just, you know, hold possession up in his, in his end. And if he gets really stressed, maybe he drags the defender out. And that's kind of what he did. Left me with a lot of open space to score another goal and seal the victory in this game. So that's good. Van Beesten doing his thing, uh, scoring goals. I'm I'm enjoying him, but he is probably the one player at this point in time that I'm not 100% sure about keeping. Uh, it's always it's this game with me. I never know whether to keep my expensive player or not because I never know if they're going to absolutely plummet. I, obviously, a central icon is normally someone that's going to hold a relative value, um, but it just so happens that the week I bought Van Basten on like the Tuesday, uh, on the Thursday, the prime Van Basten came out. It it made the one that we've got, which I got for a good deal at 510, um, because he was normally selling about 530, 540. Um, he actually dipped under 500,000 coins. So at this point, it's like a, a, a definite loss um, plus tax. So yeah, it's, it's it's not looking financially great. So hoping for a little bit of a rebound in his price in order for him to to be sold. If if I can sell him for a little bit more than I bought for him and just lose a little bit on tax, then I'll be very very happy with that. Um, I'm liking Mares. He's he's kind of safe in the team for now, but you never know. Next episode, I could say uh, the exact opposite and he could be gone. But that's just how it is on this road to glory. We will change teams as 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 often uh, as we can. Uh, so, I get a rage quit again, like, third game in, uh, so our first game, scored a goal and he quit, he wasn't playing, second game, we won there, pretty convincingly, did well in the second half, 
Uh, third game, I scored to go 1-0 up and he just quits. This game looks like it could be a little bit more difficult. So we go pretty close with uh, Riyad Mahrez at the start of this game. Weak foot shot though, so I was never 100% sure whether or not it would go in. Uh, but eventually the goal comes from Van Beesten. Van Beesten himself. Uh, my throat's going a little bit, so I do apologise about this. I'm just going to talk a little bit more normal because... That doesn't make my throat tickle as much, and I'm sure you guys can appreciate that. But we do score with the Dutchman. He sticks us 1-0 up in this game. Martial then whips it into the box. Vidal scores a volley, but it goes in off of an offside Van Beesten, so it uh, doesn't count. And we would have gone into this into halftime break with a two-goal lead, and that would have been nice because we have been demolishing this guy in terms of like actual efforts on goal and stuff. Uh, but some great like pass and play. Uh, Van Basten gets, well... <coughs> couple of goes at it in order to finally stick that one in the back of the net. It was a good save from the goalie. Like, he, he rushed out to close down that angle, uh, which is, of course, the exact right thing to do. But the way FIFA 18 goes a lot of the time is that I, uh, I get an opportunity when the keeper just parries it straight out to me. I mean, this guy gets a goal because where my keeper decided to, like, rush out and, and not then boot the ball, he takes, he takes a touch. <laughs> I don't know why he would do that because... I need you to boot the ball. You got an on-running Jamie Vardy coming at you, pal. Um, doesn't matter because we go up the other end and we actually score another goal with Pogba uh, to restore our two-goal lead. But then, you know, a little bit like my Van Basten goal a minute ago, you get a second go at it. And then I think Sani just glitched through the through the net right there. That's the first time I've noticed that. Didn't even notice it when I was playing. Uh, but yeah, rebounds are rebounds and Sané gets an opportunity there and sticks it into the back of the net. And you can see the the, the timing the top right, in the top left corner. Uh, 90th minute plus two minutes. You know, we're, we're well into extra time here or injury time. And he goes ahead and gets an equaliser at the back stick. I... Okay, okay, that's just the way it goes. Uh, so we don't we don't go like completely unbeaten so far in this division. Uh, we actually get a draw. Well, we are unbeaten, but we don't get all wins, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we should have done when you look at those stats, but unfortunately, it didn't quite go for us. So we could have like escaped relegation with that win right there if we would have just held out right at the end. Um, but uh, three wins and one draw out of four games is pretty solid in Division 3 as far as I'm aware. Like, that's the highest I've been so far. And I've not played a game in Division 3 apart from these ones yet. So uh, it seems like we're doing a pretty decent first run. Van Basten's got 16 goals and 6 assists in 10 games. That's very solid. But I am thinking that I'll probably offload him if that price does go above what I actually bought him for. Um, so we'll see what happens there. We ne you never know. Next episode, I might have already sold him. Uh, I might decide that I'm keeping him. Might change something else. But the rest of the team looks kind of perfect in, in what I'm, I'm looking to build here uh, on Ultimate Team. So uh, you never know. We, we could be stuck with this one for a little while. Maybe we'll change it up a bit. Um, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button on today's video if you have enjoyed and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new around here thanks so much for watching guys and i'll catch you next time peace